What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I got some good news for you. It seems like we are getting early access to the holiday update for Modern Warfare 3 as well as Warzone. I got all the details about this event that you need to know covered in today's video, as well as some brand new news and information that I definitely think you need to know about. Just a quick reminder, I am doing a giveaway over on Twitter for Modern Warfare 3. I am gonna be choosing the winners later today, so be sure to enter that if you haven't entered it already. Also be sure to check out yesterday's video that we posted going over the secret Modern Warfare 3 update, the new event for the boys coming soon that we got new information on. I'll have that link down below in the description, but going on to the main topic of today's video, this has to do with the early access update for the massive MW3 and Warzone event that we have. So earlier this morning, they did a playlist update, no download required. All you had to do, open up the Call of Duty app, it would say your app requires a restart, close it down, open it back up again, and you would be good to go. When loading up the game, you can see the new features and new content that's coming in with the playlist update. So we got a couple of them actually. Before we break down the actual events in the content we're getting if you take a look at the timer it says 22 hours as i'm recording this video which basically means that this event is gonna go live a day earlier than originally planned which was supposed to be wednesday on the 20th it doesn't seem like we even need an update for this to go live they've already had the maps and everything in the back end files there may be a download tomorrow not entirely sure but as of right now it seems like everything is prepared but let's go ahead and look at the mode so first off we have infectious holiday this is gonna be eliminate survivors become infected infect everyone or survive the game to win. Your kills, death, win, loss are not gonna be impacted by this mode. So you can play as much as you want. It's gonna be available on pretty much all the maps as you see here. And then it's just the game mode is just infectious holiday. The next one that we have is gonna be snowball gunfight. This is gonna be available in both Hangover as well as Shipmas. Now, when you take a look at these brand new maps, you can see that Hangover, we did see some gameplay footage of. This is High Rise. Credit to Phase Dirty for this early gameplay, but as you see here, it has snow covering it. There's Christmas trees, lights, a dance floor, and it pretty much fits the entire holiday theme that we have. You'll be able to access this tomorrow morning. The next map that we have is gonna be Shipmas, and the good news that I can tell you, this is not gonna be the MW2 Shipmas, but they actually remade it once again for the holiday theme. It looks a little bit different. If you take a look at the sky, you see the Aurora in the background, which is a little bit more than what we saw with the last ship miss. The snow, it looks like it's a little bit heavier, and then it's also a little bit darker. So I wonder how this is gonna play out because this map does look a little bit darker than the OG MW2 ship miss was. That one had a whole bunch of lights going on with that. Maybe they will have some sort of lights like that similar to here. Anyways, the snowball mode is gonna take place there. It's gonna play out like snowball gunfights as the deadliest snowball fight around go toe to toe against another team and try to come out on top so rather than weapons you're gonna have snowballs you're gonna pick them up and you're gonna try to attack people with them and defeat them and win the game that way and then the next mode that we have is gonna be hangover 24 7 this is basically just a mosh pit version of high rise it's gonna be the only map that you'll be able to play here in this mode and it's gonna be 24 7 then you have ship miss 24 7 which is only gonna be shipment so for those of you guys who are trying to grind camos and you're tired of playing rust in that rustment mode that we had yeah that's gonna be replaced with ship miss and you'll have full access to that be able to grind it out and have fun but the next thing i want to talk about is going to be the event tab so they also did update the event tab as well if you take a look here there's actually two additional features first off we have santa's sleigh ground which has been updated to be in just a couple hours from now which means tomorrow morning is when this will go live as well then you also have sleigh ride which was added i believe this is added with this playlist update that's going to be for warzone so if you think about it there's actually going to be two different events rather than one so you have one for multiplayer which is going to be Santa Slayground it has its own challenges its own rewards the only way you will be able to do this event is you will need to play multiplayer and you will have to have multiplayer access in order to do this event the second event that we have is going to be Slay Ride this is the event that is exclusive to Warzone so if you don't own multiplayer you can still participate and do the Slay Ride one this will involve challenges that you will need to complete in the Slay Ride Resurgence mode each challenge that you complete will get you a reward once you complete all of them there will be a mastery reward if you want to know the details on exactly what the challenges are for multiplayer and what the challenges are for Warzone, as well as the potential rewards that you'll be able to get, I already covered it in a video a couple days ago. I'll have a link down in the description. Check that out. I gave a full detail on exactly what to expect from this brand new holiday update. The good news is there's a third event that's going to be taking place, and that is going to be Double XP Weekend, which will be taking place in two days and 20 something hours. I believe this may be the first time that they put a Double XP tab like this. The last couple times that we got a Double XP Weekend, Weekend. They sort of just announced it over on Twitter and that was it. I've never seen them actually put it on the event tab. So there might be something obviously going on with this. There may be ways for you to get more double XP tokens. 
I have no idea. There is probably a reason for why they put it here in this event tab. This is everything to expect. The final thing we also will be receiving is going to be a brand new store update. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to be including a little bit more gift packs. We talked about how there was a free gift pack that you can get in the store the other day. They're probably going to be updating that and adding some more because it is the holiday giving season. Another thing is you can expect the Santanaz operator skin to make his way into the shop. That is the main operator bundle that we have for this holiday update. This is just a full showcasing. I've already covered this before, but just to showcase if you haven't seen any of my videos before, this is the Ultra Skin Santanaz bundle. Don't have an exact price on this bundle because it is an Ultra Skin pack. This could go as high as 2,800 COD points as we've seen with other bundles or they can end up deciding making it 2400. Not entirely sure, we'll figure that out once it hits the shop. The operator that you get is gonna be the Undead Saint. He's gonna be the main character of this entire update, mainly because he's gonna be the boss over in Warzone. He's gonna be in the store. I believe they're also using his face and all that for the marketing. So he's pretty much the main character that we have here. There's also gonna be two different weapon blueprints that we have, one for the MCW, the other one for the AMR9 SMG. They also do have trace rounds and effects on them. You got the Brain Rot Ammo Mod, which you get three of. And then there's other things like calling cards, charms, and stickers. But as of right now, this is the major skin that we are expecting during this update. There are some other really good skins that are set to be arriving in the shop soon, but I don't think they're holiday theme or related. So we may not see those, but this is going to be one of the main skins that we're going to be getting for this holiday theme. We did receive a brand new store update today along with that playlist update that brought in two brand new operators. The first one is the Myth Maker bundle costing 1600 COD points, brings in the Herald operator skin for Alpine. This is going to come in with one weapon blueprint called the invader for the bass b there's also a brand new calling card a brand new large decal as well as a weapon charm no trace arounds on that bundle the next one that we have is nikto costing 2000 cod points will feature the nocturne operator skin for riptide we saw this guy in the trailer for the multiplayer reveal he's finally now out he also comes in with two weapon blueprints one of them for the karambit called the night slicer the second one being for the striker called the infrared infiltrator and they don't have any trace arounds or effects to them but they they do sort of like glow in the dark along with that there's also a brand new calling card a large decal a brand new loading screen as well as an emblem but anyways this pretty much covers everything that you need to know with the brand new upcoming update that we have the new content the new modes everything to expect from it if there's any questions feel free to comment it down below and let me know anyways that's all that i got for you guys in today's video if you found it helpful or informative consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates i will be covering a lot of content so be sure to subscribe if you are not yet sub we're gonna go over the season one reloaded update the boys event we're gonna talk about the vortex ltm event as well as some free rewards cdl ranked update there's so much content that i will be covering here on the channel so if you are not yet sub definitely make sure you hit that sub button i'm making my job so you never miss out on any call of duty news or updates ever again but it's been your boy Trizzo, and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace